Hey everyone, so time for daily SQL challenge number three. And uh, before we hop into it, as always, I want to remind you that if you like what you see here, or if the content here is a little hard, then you should go ahead and check out our free Intro to SQL Querying course right here. We'll take you through uh, the very basics of SQL with your select clause, from clause, and your where clause. Also, we've got something a little new. If you want to have your own query used as a daily challenge, then now's your chance. You can go ahead and click this link here. And once you go there, then you can submit your own query. And you can go ahead and add your challenge description, give your email so that we can give you credit when we go ahead and use your query. All right, so for today's challenge, we're going to be working with a retailer database, which we have in the past as well. So that's this one right here. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to show the product name product description and the product line for the product in each product line that has the highest gross revenue. All right, that is quite a mouthful there. Let's come over here and describe the situation a little bit. So we want product name and we want product description. We also want product line in there as well. So it's going to come from our products table. We want it for the product in each product line that has the highest gross revenue. So where's gross revenue coming from? Gross revenue is gonna be our quantity order times the price of each item, okay? And we want to gather the sum total quantity order times price each for each product for the total number of orders that they've had, not just for one order. All right, and then we wanna just get that for the product that or the product in each product line that has the highest sum here okay let's go ahead and start typing away if you managed to get this one yourself then kudos to you big time because this one is definitely a little tricky and this one i'm also going to introduce something called a cte or a common table expression it's used in microsoft sql and it looks something like this with, and then we name it CTE, we'll say CTE1 as, and then we put our CTE stuff in here. And this essentially is like a derived table or a subquery. Yeah, so it's like a subquery, um, but then we write it before the main body of our query. I prefer them, they're easier to read for me. Um, obviously, you can do it however you like, though. So in this case, first, let's go ahead and grab the product code along with the, um, the revenue figures for each product. So we'll say select product code and then the sum of quantity ordered times price each. And that'll be as, we'll give it an alias here, total ordered. And that's going to come from our order details table. Okay. And then lastly, since we've got our aggregate in the select clause, we need to do a group by, and we're going to grab the product code, or we're going to group by the product code right there. Okay, so I've got this, and you know what? I'll go ahead and just show you that that is working for us here. And let's run this. Okay, so we get a list of product codes and the total amount ordered right there. So we'll put our CTE back in place here so that we can keep going. Now that we have this information, we can go ahead and um, specify it for only the total aggregates, like the gross revenue figures, uh, the max gross revenue figure for each uh, product line. So down here, we'll go ahead and we'll select the columns that we want to display in the end. We want to display product name and we want the product description. I also want to see the product line. And then, so those are the three columns we want to display, and we want that to come from products. And then now what we can do, 
So the way the CTE works, we go ahead and can join it in just like it's another table. So it'll be join CTE1, and I won't give it an alias, which means it will be its own alias. Or in other words, I need to spell out the entire table here when I'm joining on product code here. I will say CTE1 dot product code equals P dot product code. So now we've got products and CTE1 joined together. So now that we have all that data, since we went ahead and joined in CTE1, and the reason for it is so that we can access this total ordered column from our CTE. So now that we have that, we can say where CTE1 dot total ordered equals, and you know, let me scroll down because things are getting a little hard to see here. Okay, where CTE1 dot total order equals, and in this subquery is we're going to go ahead and select the max total ordered. All right, so select max total ordered. And by the way, yeah, you can definitely do this problem without a CTE. You just need to have nested subqueries here, which gets a little messy. I prefer the CTE. Okay, so select max total ordered from CTE1. And there we go. So let's go ahead and run this, see if we get any results. And we did get some results. Lovely. Thing is, though, there are more than one. There is more than one product line, so it's not the final result. Let me run through this, though. So here we're grabbing the max total ordered. The max total ordered is this gross revenue. So we're saying that we're grabbing the product name, product description, and product line for the product um, that has the highest gross revenue, period. All right. And so there you go. Now, if we want to do it so that we're getting the um, max total order for the product from each product line that has the max gross revenue within the product line, then we need to add a little bit more. So we need to go ahead and make this subquery here a correlated subquery to make the magic happen. So we're going to first join products, and we'll give an alias of P2. On p2.productcode equals cte1.productcode. All right. And doing that will allow us to bring in the products table, which allows us to access the product line column, which is what we're going to do right here. So we're going to say where p2.productline equals p.productline. And so when we run this, voila, we have our answer. So here are all of our product lines, and these are the products and then the descriptions for the product in those product lines that have the highest gross revenue. So let's quickly run through that. Before, we were just grabbing the max minimum gross revenue for all of the products. But now we're doing it for where the product line from inside this subquery equals a product line from up here. And what that does is it runs through each group, each group being each product line group. It finds the max revenue for within that group, and then it returns us the results that we have. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Once again, if you like this, you want to learn a little bit more about the basics, check out our Intro to SQL querying course. And then if you want to dive deep, though, and get um, all the practice you need to become a master of SQL querying in all regards, then go ahead and check out our Ultimate SQL Querying Package course. And uh, if you want more information about that, go ahead and message us. You can message us here by clicking this button and then we will get back to you with more information.